Hey everyone, Not Free Mama here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a low carb, creamy mushroom chicken. Okay, let's start off with our ingredients. First, you need one and a half pounds of the uncooked, thin sliced, boneless, skinless chicken breast, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, salt and pepper to taste, two tablespoons of unsalted butter, a tablespoon of some kind of oil. I'm using avocado oil. 8 ounces of Baby Bella mushrooms, a fourth a cup of onion, thinly sliced into little pieces, 2 teaspoons of the minced garlic, the fresh, one and a half cups of heavy cream or light cream or half and half, and then a fourth a cup of the Parmesan cheese, not the grated. You want the cheese kind. First, you want to season both sides of the chicken breast with the salt, pepper, or Italian seasoning, and garlic powder. And then in a large skillet, we're going to take our oil and two tablespoons of butter and heat that um, on medium high. That looks great. So we're going to add the chicken breast and cook it five to six minutes on each side. My chicken is cooking. I've already cooked it five minutes on one side. Now I flipped it and I'm cooking it for six minutes on the other side. I removed my chicken from the pan and just put it on a clean plate. And now to the pan, I just added the mushrooms and onion. And we're just going to saute that in that same oil and butter for about two to three minutes or until they're soft. That looks great. So now I added my two teaspoons of the fresh minced garlic and we're just going to cook that about another minute or so or until it's very fragrant. I reduced the heat to low and added in my one and a half cups of heavy cream and my fourth a cup of fresh Parmesan cheese. And we are just going to simmer that for one to two minutes or until the sauce begins to thicken. My sauce was definitely thickening, so I just added my chicken back in there with the salt, with the, all the bits juices, and we're just going to let it sit for one to two minutes. And then you can serve this with pasta, rice, salad, or veggies. I'm going to use cauliflower rice with mine. 